However, just time for a quick recap of the week, and sadly, we must begin with a few words about France, which on Friday suffered the deadliest attack on its soil since World War II. Look, it's hardly been 48 hours, and much is still unknown, but there are a few things we can say for certain, and this is when it actually helps to be on HBO, where those things can be said without restraint, because after the many necessary and appropriate moments of silence, I'd like to offer you a moment of premium cable profanity. So here is where things stand. First, as of now, we know this attack was carried out by gigantic fucking assholes. <laughs> Unconscionable, flaming assholes, possibly, possibly working with other fucking assholes, <laughs> definitely working in service of an ideology of pure assholery. <laughs> Second, and this goes almost without saying, fuck these assholes. <laughs> Sideways. And third, third, it is important to remember nothing about what these assholes are trying to do is going to work. France is going to endure. And I'll tell you why. If you're in a war of culture and lifestyle with France, good fucking luck. Because go ahead. Go ahead, bring your bankrupt ideology. They'll bring Jean-Paul Sartre, Edith Piaf, fine wine, Gaulois cigarettes, Camus, Camembert, Madeleines, Macarons, Marcel Proust, and the fucking Crockenbouche. The Crockenbouche. You just, you just brought a philosophy of rigorous self-abnegation to a pastry fight, my friend. You are fucked. That is a French freedom tower. So to the people of France, our thoughts are truly with you, and I do not doubt there'll be more to say on all of this as events unspool. But for now, we are going to continue with the rest of our show, and let's turn to other parts of the world, specifically 